Hello everyone, my name is Matthew David, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the new update for my tool called Schloder. And now if you're unfamiliar with it, uh, Schloder is a SysWhispers shellcode loader that will take any raw shellcode generated by a tool like Meterpreter or Cobalt Strike and load it without it being detected by an antivirus like Windows Defender. So right now, without further ado, I'm looking at the GitHub repository for my loader tool, and you can see I've pushed an update to it, version 1.2. And in the description, you can see that I've added more syscalls, added an AMZ bypass option, and I updated the syscall file to evade signatures that were making it get detected on various systems. So to start the demo off, we can simply click the code button and select the URL for it and then we'll go to a terminal and I'll just git clone it real quick. You can see that we have a new directory which I can go into and then we have our files ready to go. So all we need to do is run our loader.py file and then this will print the arguments for it. As said in the uh, GitHub repository readme, all you need is Ming w, w64 installed on your Linux system. And this is very easy to do with any package manager, but I already have that installed, so we're pretty much ready to go. So now to demonstrate this, we're gonna use a uh, meterpreter file. So to do that, we can generate meterpreter by using msfvenom, tag p, and then we'll do a windows 64-bit meterpreter reverse TCP payload. We'll specify the L host to be our private IP address. And the port will be 8080. And then we have to specify it as raw. And then we'll give it an output HTTP, or rather this is a TCP dot bin. So here you go. This is how we'll generate our payload. It's just a simple reverse TCP interpreter. Make sure that you're using 64-bit and then make sure you're using the raw file type. So we can generate it like so. And now that we have our file, we can run loader again and give it the tcp.bin file that we just created and then hit enter and our file has been compiled successfully and saved to the a.exe file. So now we can set up a simple Python HTTP listener, like so, and head over to our Windows Server 2019 machine, and we can check for updates to make sure that it is indeed fully up to date, which it is. We can check for updates under the threat definitions portion and see that it also is fully up to date. And then we can go to the virus and threat protection settings and ensure that real-time protection is turned on. Cloud delivered protection is also turned on. The only thing that's turned off is automatic sample submission so that our file isn't automatically submitted to Microsoft to get flagged. And there are no exclusions. So now that we've made sure our system is fully up to date and our antivirus software is enabled, we can go back to our K Linux virtual machine and ensure that we have a Metasploit handler ready to go. As you can see, um, I've set all of the parameters correctly for it, and now I can just type exploit to make sure that it's running and listening. And now we can go back to our Windows Server, open up a PowerShell terminal, and now we should be able to download the generated file just like so using invoke web request, saving it to the a.exe file. And now if we run it like so, and you'll notice that that was not detected by Defender because we've updated the syscall uh, file so that its signature isn't detected. And if we run it, and go back to our Kali Linux virtual machine, you can see that we got our meterpreter session. Now we can type things like sysinfo, get UID, and we can see that it's working without an issue and isn't getting detected by Defender. 
Now, there is one issue. If I try to run something like the shell command, and I go back to my Windows server, you'll see that it detected that. And now if I go back to my Kali Linux machine, you can see that my Meterpreter session died. Now, this is due, in my opinion, to AMSI detecting it uh, behaviorally once it's um, executing this particular function of Meterpreter. So what I've done to combat that is I've added a feature to Shishloader. If we look at the usage again, uh, that enables you to run an AMSI bypass before loading the file that you create in order to use those more complicated features of Meterpreter that would be detected by Windows Defender otherwise. So to demonstrate that, we can do the same thing we did before, uh, give it the tcp.bin file that we generated using MSF Venom, except this time just give it the tac A flag and then hit enter to generate. And you can see that this uh, adding this flag made it so that our loader added an AMZ bypass to the stub and then compiled a new file for us. So if we try this again, setting up a HTTP server and then also setting up our Metasploit handler to listen again, we can go back to our Windows server and download the file the same way we did before. and run it the same way we did before. Go back to our Kali Linux virtual machine. You can see we get our interpreter. We can run the same commands we did before to make sure that those work still. And now we can try that shell command again. Go back to our Windows server. And this time you'll notice there was no um, alert that popped up. And we can go back and see that our interpreter session is still alive. We can type commands like who am I, um, dir, and see that it's working with no issue and it was not detected by Defender this time. So adding that AMSI bypass allows you to use these more um, dangerous functions that are more likely to be detected. Something like hash dump would also get detected by Defender, but with the AMSI bypass you can see we're able to use it and our interpreter session does not die. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's the demo. If um, you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, one last thing that I can do for you is I can actually upload this file to a scanner um, that will scan it and see if it gets detected on anything. We'll go to the demo folder that we were in. This is the loader folder. And then this is the a.exe file that we just generated. We can upload that. And you can see that we get a zero out of 26 detections. So this file is working as of uh, December 20th, 2021, and it doesn't get detected by any of these antivirus softwares. So as I, sa I was saying earlier, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the update is already pushed to GitHub, and uh, yeah, stick around. There will be more videos posted to this channel soon. Thank you so much.